Okay, we're live from the floor of ZeroCon. As those of you who are listening to me all morning can hear that my voice is very steadily going because I'm having some great conversations with people here at Zero. Very pleased to be welcoming Trent Innes to the podcasting booth. Thank you for offering this fantastic space for us to do our work. And thanks for putting on a great show. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for interviewing me again. We, actually, we caught up last week as well, so doing it again is fantastic. And uh, I'm glad you're having a good time here at ZeroCon. I want to talk to you about big data. We chatted about this last week and the fact that I believe Zero is, a, a, I guess, a gatekeeper for a lot of small businesses' data and you're beginning to use it for the power of good. Tell me how Zero fits into that puzzle piece when it comes to the relationship between small businesses and, say, regulators in the data space. So I think we've never actually had a really true insight about what's actually going on in the small business economy. We've got some fragmented pieces of research that go around and lots of surveys, but you know everything really starts with a debit and a credit. And when you think about how that builds up over time, you start aggregating it, you know, over hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You get you get to see some really cool insight. So what Zero Small Business Insights is all about is taking anonymous aggregated data, rolling it up to a macro level, and then bringing it back down to a granular level. So we might want to have a look at some insights, for an example, potentially, you know, by by postcode, by by industry, and see what's actually truly happening in that particular location. And if we've got enough data that makes the sample set uh, meaningful, then that that set will make sense to us. How are you communicating that data? I believe that you yourself you sit on panels and, and work with regulators into into how that data is used. So how do you communicate that across? And what's your expectation of regulars regulators as to what they should be doing with that? So it's still pretty early days. So I mean, uh, so at a high level, we, we report some high level uh, numbers every 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 month. But in addition to that, we're starting to actually do some some really special purpose reports. Uh, and we recently released a, a tool called the Small Business Energy Check. So that's actually a federal government initiative. Uh, and they engaged a company called Alpha Beta, who we work really close with, who are economists. And they reached out to us and said, would this be something that, that Zero would be able to support? Would your data sets be able to do this? And the whole idea behind that is allowing small business owners or their accountant or bookkeeper to benchmark energy spend right down to an industry, sub-industry level by postcode and set, it gives them an indication of whether they're paying too much or, or, or too little um, and it gives them some insight about where they might want to be able to get a better, a better energy, uh, energy deal. So we're really close with them on that particular uh, instance uh, and if there's other opportunities like that, we're definitely open to them as well if it makes sense and, and it benefits small business. Do you see that um, Zero is working with... Uh I guess conduits like Aspifio, Kate Carnell's office, Cosboa, um, you're in that space working with them. What other needs do you think small business has that you'd like to fulfil in the future? What would you, where would you like to see this go in five years' time? Well, I, I think yeah, we're two years into the journey. I'm really proud of the progress that we've made. And I, and I actually think we, um, an ob- we have an obligation, actually, to actually help our, help our clients more and how, how if we help create more more sustainable small businesses in, in, in the community. We've just never had those insights before, but working with the likes of you know, Cosboa and, and the Ombudsman is a great opportunity for us to actually help inform them in the way they actually take their requests to government and work closely with government, and hopefully we can get better outcomes and better investments in policy making. What's your wish list for Zero in the next five years? Do you see this relationship continuing? Well, where would you like to see it go? What's the big picture? Well, the big, the big picture is a much more um, ha- um, happy, thriving small business economy. You know, and if we can solve some of those big problems, then that, that's pretty cool. And I think, I think that's kind of the, 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 the right thing to do. I mean, we, we have an opportunity to do that, so why, why wouldn't you? So one of the things I love about ZeroCon is that you really celebrate the role of accountants and bookkeepers as advisors. Yep. I've been talking to a lot of the stands around here and they really recognise that, you know, these guys are the ones who are not only going to sell their product but also find out what the real needs are. I love the way that you've positioned yourself in that way, that accountants and bookkeepers are your, I don't want to say your sellers, but really the bastions of what it is that you, that you do. Is that, has that always been the case? Is that what always Zero's ethos has been? So, so I, I never refer to them as sellers. They're, they're, we're actually in partnership together. We, we build the technology platform. They add the service and human element to it. And together, that's actually the service that's offered to the end client. So, so we're, we're lockstead together in a, in, in, in a partnership. And it has always been the way. So we've, we've never wanted in any way to disrupt the accounting and bookkeeping industry. If anything, we want to enhance it. And they're actually getting, they're getting more services than they ever have. And that was why I was so excited to talk about how we're progressing with Zero Learn yesterday. In my keynote, uh, we've now got over 10,000 accounting and bookkeeping students uh, in this part of the world actually learning the next generation of accounting services on the, on the Zero platform. Because our accounts and bookkeepers are screaming out for people that are qualified. Because you can see just looking around here how, how busy everything is at the moment. So um, that's why that's so important. 
Well, thank you so much for joining Small Biz Matters again to talk about Zero. It's been great. I'd love to keep the communication going. Let's get you on the program to talk about market insights because that in itself is a fantastic tool for small business. Thanks for what you do for the small business community. I think that's what we've been lacking for, say, the last 20 years or so, and I'm proud to be associated with Zero. Oh, thank you so much. That, that, that means so much. I mean, I hope you feel better soon. <laughs> Thanks, Trent. No, it's a pleasure.